Now to a pretty frightening story with potentially deadly consequences. Police in Boynton Beach responded to frantic 911 calls claiming that two kids were pointing guns at passing cars. Turns out those guns were BB guns that looked like the real thing. News Channel 5's Wanda Moore looked into the problem of realistic looking guns. She's joining us now live from a gun store in West Palm Beach. Wanda? Yeah, I know this is not how you're supposed to hold a gun, but I'm covering up the orange tip. So check this out. Without seeing the orange tip, could you tell which one is fake and which one is real? I'm guessing no, and that's exactly the problem officers and parents alike face with this potentially deadly hobby. What are you looking at here? We're looking at the airsoft gun, and we're looking at the real gun. And if you are about 40, 50 feet away, especially if you're in the dark, there is no way you can tell the difference. And that's the point. Customers of fake guns like airsoft or BB guns are demanding a more and more realistic look down to every detail. Sometimes those kids, I mean, they would come out with real tactical gear and, and they would look like uh, SWAT guys. For officers who only have seconds to decide, it can be a decision of life and death. The deputies are going to react to what's presented to them, and if they see somebody that has something that appears to be a firearm, then the danger level rises. 12-year-old Samir Rice was shot and killed by officers in Ohio in 2014. They thought he had a real gun, but it turned out to be a BB gun. Alex Schkop at Guns and Range Training Center says that's why he doesn't allow his son to play with fake guns. It's pretty scary. If you're thinking about buying your kids fake guns for Christmas, Palm Beach Sheriff Bradshaw has some advice for you. There's no reason to buy these look-alike guns. But if you do, Schkopp says, make sure you supervise your child and give them proper gun safety training, just as you would with a real gun. Your finger is always off the trigger. Uh, always know what's behind your target. And you never point the barrel anywhere but your target. They might be fake, but the threat is real. Now, because these guns are more and more realistic looking, what are the laws and regulations behind that? I have that coming up at 6. Now back to you.